Tunay na kalagaya ni Chris Aquino sa Amerika isiniwalat ni Bolsi Aquino, Chris lalong lumala ang sakit. Patuloy pa rin suma sa ilalim si Chris Aquino sa iba't ibang pagsusuri sa Amerika para sa kanyang kakaibang mga karamdaman. Nasa Amerika pa rin si Chris kasama ang dalawa niyang anak na sina Joshua at Bimbi Aquino. Noong Sabado ng gabi, August 20, 2022, nakapanayam sa forum ng Banyuhay, Aotearoa si Bolsi Aquino, panganay na kapatid ni Chris, para sa pagunita ng kamatayan ng kanilang amang si dating senador Binigno Ninoy Aquino kinabukasan linggo, August 21. Sa dulong bahagi ng kanilang pag-uusap, kinumusta ng moderator kay Bolsi ang kalagayan ni Chris. Ayon kay Bolsi, na-diagnose ng dalawa pang autoimmune disease si Chris karagdagan sa naunang dalawang diagnosis nito. Pahayag niya. When she left, she had two autoimmune diseases. I think now there are four. Sa ngayon daw, ang medical team ni Chris ay patuloy pa rin sa pagtuklas ng tamang gamot sa mga karamdaman nito dahil hindi epektibo ang iba dahil sa dami ng allergies ng TV host. Ani Bolsi Unfortunately, they are just still trying to give her the right treatment, the correct treatment. She has so many allergies that all the medicines that they've been trying haven't been working or maybe they did, but then the side effects they were not too happy about because, as I said, she has so many allergies from food to the plants to medicines. Pag-amin ni Bolsi May mga panahong nais na raw sumuko ni Chris sa kanyang karamdaman pero lagi raw itong binabalikan ng panibagong lakas kapag nakikita ang mga larawan ng dalawang anak. But the past day, she has been in good spirit and she says that there are times because there was a time when she was really feeling that she was about to give up because she was having such a difficult time. But then when she looks at the pictures of her sons or when she sees them, Then, she knows she still has to fight. Special boy raw kasi si Joshua at minor de edad pa lamang si Bimbi sa ad ni Bolsi. So, that's keeping her, her fighting spirit, even stronger. And thanks to many prayers, thanks to your prayers, at least the fighting spirit is still there. And she met a new doctor who I think has a team of other doctors who might be able to help her. At sa pagkakatuklas ng dalawa pa nitong sakit, kailangan pa raw magpalakas ni Chris para maagapan ito ng mga gamot. Ani Bolsi With all the tests that they do in the US, tests that we don't have here, maraming naglalabasan pa rin eh. Pero hopefully, she'll get better. She's not even 90 pounds now. She's like 85 or 86. For the other treatments that they want to try, she has to put on more weight. She has to get a little bit stronger. Lumipad si Chris kasama ang mga anak papuntang Boston, Massachusetts noong June 3, 2022. Pero bago siya umalis, ay nagpost muna siya ng video about her rare disease. Dito ay nagbigay pa ng karagdagang impormasyon si Chris Aquino kaugnay sa kanyang karamdaman na ayon sa kanyang doktor ay rare and hard to treat. Nag-upload noon ng video sa kanyang Instagram account si Chris habang kinukuhanan siya ng swab samples. Kasama sa video, ang paliwanag ng kanyang doktor na si Dr. Nino Gavino na sinabi ni Chris sa caption na An exceptional Filipino-American doctor based in Houston who successfully diagnosed what's really wrong with my health. I'll miss you my friends and followers very much. Time is now my enemy. Nagahabul kami hoping na wala pang permanent damage to the blood vessels leading to my heart. Nakasaad din sa post na natuklasan na ang sakit ni Chris ay eosinophilic granulomatosis polyangitis o EGPA na dating kilala bilang church trust syndrome. Ang EGPA ay nagdudulot ng asthma, weight loss, gastrointestinal intolerances at fluctuating blood pressure na pumipigil sa kanyang makabiyahe noon. Ayon sa post, binigyan si Chris ng steroids for treatment pero nagkaroon ito ng hindi magandang reaksyon sa kanyang katawan at allergic ang aktres sa ilang gamot. 
Kaya kinailangang bumiyahe ni Chris sa abroad para sumailalim sa Nukala, isang uri ng non-steroid eggpa treatment na sa Amerika lang meron at ang isa pang uri ng gamot na rictusan. To explain more about her condition, Chris earlier shared a detailed medical statement from her attending physician, Dr. Nino Gavino. Here are some parts of Dr. Gavino's statement pertaining to Chris's treatment. The subsequent 9 to 12 months will be crucial for us to see if she can achieve remission and continue the regimen further because to survive, Ms. Aquino will have to make whichever combination works her lifetime maintenance medicine. With no medical intervention overall, the life expectancy of those with EGPA is at about 25%. With a proper treatment, 5-year survival rate is at 62%. Only 1 in every 1 million people get this form of vasculitis per year. That is how rare and hard to treat Ms. Aquino's case is. Maliban nga sa EGPA, nagsanga-sanga rin ang mga sakit ni Chris. Sa kanyang chronic spontaneous urticaria ay isang distressing skin condition na nagsasanhi ng pamumula, pamamaga at pangangati ng balat. Ibinahagi rin ito ni Chris sa kanyang Instagram account to give awareness sa publiko. This is my story. My urticaria flares started in 2013 but I thought they were allergic reactions and called them hives. They've steadily worsened to about two bad episodes a month, lasting to at least four to seven days. I have no food allergies except crab and lobster. What happens when you suffer from an autoimmune disease? I research in Healthline.com, so I could easily explain it since I have so many doctors who are now friends that I knowingly use medical terms. The immune system mistakes part of your body, like your joints or skin, as foreign and releases proteins called autoantibodies that attack healthy cells. Women get autoimmune diseases at a rate of about 2 to 1 compared to men, 6.4% of women versus 2.7% of men. Often, the disease starts during women's childbearing years, ages 14 to 44. My chronic spontaneous urticaria afflicts less than 1% of the world's population. Most suffer through it for 1-5 to five years. Some suffer through it for decades. I fall under that category. I believe everything happens as part of God's plan for our lives. I have the platforms to raise awareness about this medical challenge. Stress we cannot avoid, but it is a big factor. Maliban rito noong 2020 sa ad ni Chris, nakalaban rin niya ang anemia. Ito ay ang pagbaba ng kanyang red blood cells, kaya rin kapansin-pansin na hindi lamang pumayat si Chris, namumutla rin ito. Ang pagbaba kasi ng kanyang red blood cells ay nakakaapekto sa pagkalap ng sapat na oxygen para suportahan ang tissues ng kanyang katawan. Sa pagsasailalim rin ng mga treatment at kahit operasyon, kinakailangan ng katawan ng sapat na dugo. Ang pagiging anemic rin ni Chris ay nagdulot ng kaakibat pa na sakit sa kanyang thyroid na naging dahilan ng pagbaba ng kanyang timbang. Itinuturing rin ang grave disease na isang autoimmune case na nagdudulot ng hyperthyroidism na siyang superactive sa pagpapalabas ng thyroid hormone. Madalas na makitang sintomas ng taong may iniinda na hyperthyroidism ay ang pagbaba ng timbang o pagpayat ng katawan, panghihina, panginginig at ang iba ay nasusuka. Marami naman sa mga tagahanga at kaibigan ni Chris sa industriya ang patuloy na nagdadasal para sa kanya at sa kanyang paggaling mula sa iniindang karamdaman. O mga kashowbiz peeps, nagustuhan niyo bang ating paksa sa araw na ito? Type Your comments below.